Hello again, I'm Mike Loder. Now, after a year of uncertainty and legal battles, TikTok may have found an unexpected ally in President-elect Donald Trump. And Australia is moving ahead with plans to regulate AI and social media, regardless of any opposition from a future Trump administration. Joining us now to discuss this further is Dr. Karen Sutherland from the University of the Sunshine Coast. It's good to have you with us. Could Trump actually save TikTok in his first 100 days? That's what I'm being told. That's what he's saying. But the only thing is, it's going to be a very tight turnaround because if there isn't a resolution found, TikTok is supposed to cease its operations in the US by January 19. And Trump's um, inaugurated in early January. So that's a very tight window when it comes to the government and decisions made by government. Do you think they could actually pull this off? I feel like there are so many users on the platform. From what I've seen in the past, they're very passionate content creators and the platform just seems to have this staying power. Oh, absolutely. In the States, I've, I've found some stats on this. So they actually have 170 million users in the States and the in the US, it actually generates $16 billion in US revenue every year. And Trump's got a vested interest. He's got more than 14 million followers himself. Having access and direct access to so many people, such a wide audience, it would be not in his best interest to get rid of the platform. Yeah, interesting stuff. So let's talk about what's going on in Australia at the moment off the back of the election in the US. We're talking about regulation under 16, I believe is the age they've chosen. That's right. So yes, the, the federal government is trying to impose laws, which I don't think will come into effect until maybe next year or the year after, banning people under 16 from using social media. How that's actually going to happen in reality and the actual details of that, we do not know. It's been very vague, but yes, so that's the plan. So where uh, I guess in the US has been talk that the, the Trump administration is actually going to wind back a lot of regulations in relation to social media and particularly AI, which not, was not mentioned at all throughout the US election, which was pretty interesting. In, the Australian government is going to forge ahead with their plans to put some more guardrails in place around social media and AI. Yeah, absolutely. I can hear the cries of a lot of parents out there saying, yes, fantastic, ditch social media, etc. What has the response been, more broadly speaking, about the uh, social media ban? Look, it's, it's very mixed. There has been a lot of research just to show the psychological damage that, and emotional damage that can happen with social media use for people who are using it, who are in their younger years yeah, yeah. and how impressionable they are. But in saying that, actually imposing the restrictions is going to be the hardest thing, like exactly how they're going to do it. Will the platforms comply? How will they comply? Will it be up to parents? What will actually happen? Will parents be penalised if their, their kids are found to be using it? Who knows? Yes, there's a lot of talk and speculation around how it's actually going to work. Yeah, and if there's one way to make uh, kids want something, it's to ban them from using it. And I can only imagine the uh, changes and updates that they would come up with in order to speak uh, and communicate online as well. Oh, it's going to be a time of huge innovation and creativity to try and get around uh, the restrictions, I can assure you. Absolutely. As they say, the uh, revolution <laughs> will be televised on social media, probably. But uh, Dr. Karen Sutherland, thank you for joining us for today's chat. Thank you.